Hey guys. In uh, this week's Torah portion, um, every every week, um, the people that follow um, Judaism have uh, are reading the same portion of the Bible uh, as everybody else in that uh, in that religion. Um, we're all reading the same portion of Scripture, so all of us are. Uh, studying the same stuff every week. So in this particular week, we read uh, a story of how um, Joseph, one of the uh, 12 sons of Jacob, is uh, basically thrown into a pit uh, by his brothers. You see, his brothers, uh, it seems that the Torah is telling us that the, they were jealous of him. His father treated him kind of special. He gave him special clothes to wear that identified him as uh, someone that was unique and special to his father. And so his father had sent him to, uh, I guess, go spy on his brothers to go see what they were really doing whenever they were out in Shechem with the flock. So Joseph goes to visit them and they see him coming from a far way off. And they begin to conspire uh, how they might kill him. And uh, thank God Reuben says, let's, uh, let's not kill him. Um, let's throw him into this pit here while I think about what we're going to do with him. And it's interesting because when you read the passage of Scripture that talks about, uh, I don't remember the specific verse, um, but when you read this, the Scripture that talks about this pit, uh, it says that uh, the pit was empty and there was... Um, there was nothing in it. And my friend Darren was telling me about this. I was reading something that he had written on it. It was very interesting. And he said that the, the word there is, a, is called a bore. And it could mean a pit or a well or a cistern. And um, the Torah says that there's, there's no water in it. Like it's very um, specific. It says it's empty and there's no water in it. So... Uh, why would it have to say there's that it's empty and there's no water in it? Like it's just can you just say it's empty? And so the majority of the people that uh, are commenting on the passage say that uh, that in fact it did not have any water in it, but it was full of snakes and scorpions, snakes and scorpions. <laughs> so obviously not a very pleasurable experience for Joseph to be in. And uh, as I'm thinking about what my friend Darren was writing, and uh, thank God for him, he said, look, the, the issue is that we all have a bore, and it's our minds. And that if the, if, if the pit that we have, if our minds are not full of the waters of Torah, if we're not filling ourselves with the truth about who we are, who the Creator is, if we're not filling ourselves with love and joy and patience and peace and kindness, long suffering and all of the things that we need to survive and to be the people that God created us to be, then <laughs> if we don't fill it with that, it's going to get filled with snakes and scorpions. <laughs> And uh, it's pretty easy to see what the world looks like when our pits are full of snakes and scorpions. So I want to encourage you, my friends, do your best to fill yourself. It's so easy to uh, it's so easy to let the day take you, and you have to attack the day. You have to go about your day, and the the easiest time, the best time, is to do it first thing in the morning, where you're spending some time speaking with the Creator, and then enlivening your day and, and, and filling that uh, mind, filling your mind full of living waters, the waters of Torah, the waters of good and the waters of peace. And you have to fill yourselves um, on a daily basis because if we don't fill it, then the snakes and the scorpions uh, will come and fill it. And uh, God forbid, we all know what that what that looks like because we know whenever we begin to go about, at least for me, when I go about my day without having filled myself with life and love, 
that uh, destruction comes pretty fast. It's, uh, you know, there's decisions that have to be made. <laughs> the kids wake up, but immediately things are going crazy and there's chaos. So we have to, uh, we have to fill our minds with that wonderful love and the living water of the truth. May it be so for all of us. Have a fantastic morning.